It says Trump's border seizure and former ICE director with the message to illegal immigrants. Oh, Pretty much told the immigrants is over. Y'all finna, it's over. Y'all finna go back to where you came if you came over here illegally. Yes, it's grass, man. I got a message. As a guy who spent 34 years deporting illegal aliens, I got a message to the millions of illegal aliens that Joe Biden's released in our country in violation of federal law. You better start packing now. You're damn right. Because you're going home. I got another message. Another message to the criminal cartels in Mexico. You smuggle enough fentanyl across this country to kill 148,000 young Americans. You have killed more Americans than every terrorist organization in the world combined. And that's when President Trump gets back in office. He's going to designate you a terrorist organization. And he's going to wipe you off the face of the earth. Hey. You're done. You're done. He's in. That boy talking to guys to shoot. We have seen one estimate that says it would cost $88 billion to deport a million people a year. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Is that what American taxpayers should expect? What price do you put on national security? Is that worth it? Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Sit their ass on with them. Families can be deported together. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think, uh, look, it'd be great to have local law enforcement uh, assist us because, you know, one thing I learned during 9-11, I reported together. It says, I am pleased to announce that the former ICE director and stalwart on border control, Tom Holman, will be joining the Trump administration in charge of our nation's border. Sound like he's the man put in charge. He's talking to Jack. Sound like he talking that shit and he finna goddamn clean it up. That what you want standing on business. You understand me? Uh 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 where we at? Where was I at? in charge of our nation's border, the border Caesar, including but not limited to the southern border, the northern border, uh the northern border, all um maritime shit. How do you pronounce that? Mar shit, I don't know. And aviation security. And figure out what maritime is though i'm not i don't know if this is some military shit. maritime connected with the sea especially in relation to seafar seafar and commercial or military activity yeah i figured i figured with that mar i don't know i just felt like i don't know i just felt like it would have something to do with some Marines, you know what I'm saying? M A R I. I feel like it has something to do with some Marines, you know what I'm saying? So I figured it had something to do with the waters, you know. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I've known Tom for a long time, and there is nobody better at policing and controlling our borders. Likewise, Tom Holman will be in charge of our deportation of illegal aliens back to their country or origin. Congratulations to Tom. I have no doubt you will do a fantastic long way to for a job sound like he's gonna do his damn thing he's gonna they're talking about, well, talking about the face of the earth God. Uh, look. and that's wouldn't that be what you want if somebody's coming over here bringing all this damn fentanyl over here it's a lot of people that's done lost their lives or loved ones to fentanyl you understand know I me mean? like they are doing illegal shit and they are bringing detriment to the country why would we not want somebody out there fighting for us standing on business it's versus somebody out here talking about some, oh, you can come in, you can come in, you can come in, just you all come in. We had money for you. We're gonna we're gonna get these niggas money, all these taxpayers' money, we're gonna give it to you. The fuck, why would we want that? No. It'd be great to have local law enforcement uh assist us because you know, one thing we're under 9 11 
uh, report was we shouldn't have snow pipes. Law enforcement should work on law enforcement. But, you know, there's two things. Number one, under President Trump, he, he was suing the sanctuary cities, DOJ suing the sanctuary cities, pulling federal funds. Of course, day one, when Joe Biden came in office, he stopped that lawsuit. So that has to be uh, put back in place. And look, I, I've seen, I've seen the, these, some of these Democratic governors say they're going to stand in the way and they're going, they're going to make it hard for us. Well, I, I, you know, a suggestion. If yeah. you're not going to help us, get the hell out of the way. We're going to do it. So if, if, if we can't get assistance from New York City, and, and I may have, you know, have to double the number of agents we send in New York City, because we're going to do the job. We're going to do the job without you or with you. But it's much easier to rest the bad guy. Like I just said, we're concentrating on public safety threats of human and, 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 and national security threats. Right. It's much easier to rest the bad guy in the jail. Give us access to Rutgers on that. We've been kicked out of. Let us get the bad guy in the jail. The safer for the alien, the safer right. for the officer. I they all four are, co are Kamala voters, especially the black guy. I can almost bet my bottom dollar that he voted for Kamala. It's safer for the community. But so if you don't release these bad guys, are they on Fox News? I don't know. They may have shit. I don't know. I didn't realize this was Fox. I just looked at this. <laughs> I don't know. So if you don't release these bad guys out in the community, then we're going to have to go find them, which puts the officer at risk, puts the community at risk, and puts, you know, and bottom line is, it's just, no one, sanctuary cities are sanctuaries for criminals. And, and, the, and the left keeps saying, well, we want victims and witnesses of a crime to feel safe, come to the police department, knowing we don't work with lights. Let me make one thing, thing clear. That, that's just a, a stone cold lie. Victims and witnesses of a crime does not want the bad guy back in their neighborhood. That's true. Yeah. Certainly. And, 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 yeah. and, and most illegal, look, the illegal immigrant community, they broke the law being there. They shouldn't be. However, after being there, I, they're God fearing family people. I get it. Do they want a sexual predator in their neighborhood? Do they want someone convicted of DUI 10 times in their neighborhood? Let us protect not only the American communities, let us protect the immigrant community. Who's, who's the victim of MS 13 uh, crime? Yeah. The immigrant community. Yeah. So you know, if sanctuary cities don't want to help us, to get the hell out of the way. Now, a lot of people like to try to throw all immigrants in the basket. And he just spoke on it. I like, he, he, he kind of just spoke to that. Immigrants who are over here legally, they don't, they don't want them illegals coming over here neither. No, no, no. They don't want that. You can, they may have one or two family members like they maybe their pops, maybe their mom, maybe their grandma, something like that, that they really they don't want to go back over. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, they don't want uh, buses, bus loads and thousands and all this shit coming up. No, because they had to come over here the right way themselves. It's kind of a slap in the face to them. No, you have to stand in line just like I had to stand in line to get your green card, get your citizenship or whatever, whatever. A lot of them ain't with that shit either, but they try to lump all the immigrants in one bag so you can try to garner some fear oh he's going to mass deport all immigrants all illegal immigrants yeah it's a difference <laughs> it's a huge difference why would he deport a legal citizen who done nothing wrong who did break no laws like let's let, let's use our common sense and let's not let this fear get in our way of thinking, because we was voting off a card for a black person, quote unquote, only on the strength of that and only on the strength of abortion rights, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we got real issues out here, real problems, and I ain't saying abortion ain't no problem, but that's not gonna put food in my 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 pockets. That's not gonna put food, I mean, or money in my pockets. It's not gonna put food in the mouth of the kids. I already got. See what I'm saying? I got kids, and I ain't never aborted neither one of them uh, or had an abortion. That's just me, though. You know? So I'm just saying, like, that's not going to put money in my pocket. You voting for that. I need the economy to be fixed, because shit, four, five years ago, I was balling in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I had disposable income for the first time in life. Literally, nigga, I ain't bullshit. And I was doing numbers. You feel me? I'm just saying. Yo, I know how I feel. <laughs> shit, 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 different now. Shit is totally different. 